Hello guys, what's up? This is Dinkar Chaudhary back with another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to create a free website using Android. So this is actually going to be a series of videos in which I will be explaining you how to create a free website, how to add a new template or theme, how to change your theme according to your needs, how to add pages and, and everything like that. So I have created my website atrix.net using the Android phone. So I will be explaining all the experiences like I will be telling you all the experiences. I will be explaining you all the steps. So we'll be doing it step by step so do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click the bell icon and let's get started first of all you have to go to blogger.com when you go to blogger.com it will ask you to create a profile name before you start so let's enter the Nikhil Chaudhary now on the next page just click on the cross button on these yellow yellow thing like the full paragraph just just get rid of them and then you have to click on create uh, create a new blog so just click on create a new blog and then it will ask you for the title of your blog so we will be going for this is the testing blog for channel so because this is a testing blog and I will be creating this blog for you guys to show you guys how the things work on this so let's get to to the domain name now on the next on the next field you will have to put your domain name and see if it is available Available. if it is available then just click on create blog so you have like seven to eight themes so uh, like for right now we are just selecting one of those themes but we will be uh, we will be changing the themes in the upcoming videos according to our needs because these default themes don't uh, look like a professional website and there are many issues with these uh, like you know the default themes so we'll be changing it in our upcoming videos for now let's continue with one of them because this is the basic video in which I'm going to tell you how to create a new post and uh, how to do uh, every other thing like for the for the post like subheading headings and color and stuff like that so now let's see how our website looks right now so if you go to dinka chaudhary one dot blogspot dot com right now this will uh, look like this so we have the title of the blog on the top then this is the texting blog testing blog and you have nothing so we have we haven't done any post so it looks like that so first of all you have to go to that orange button on the left left corner to create a new post so which which uh, which says new post so i have already clicked on it now this layout will come across you and you have to click off the first you have you have the option to create a post title now when we first talk about the top left corner we have the compose option and the html option html option is for professional users who know everything about html like if you know the html tags you can use them but you don't need to uh, need to know html for creating the website we will be going for the compose option because you guys don't know much about html so let's go to the compose option after that just add any title so i will be using the title how to create a website using android now when you are done with the title just go down now this is where all the content of your post goes so if you want to add anything you want to add steps you want to add the subheadings you want to add subtopics just add them here and we will be uh, learning how to differentiate between them so i'm adding the first line here which is this is the uh, this is the post where we will discuss about how to create a website now let's get rid of it a website on android now you can see that I will be showing you uh, I'm writing steps to follow now I don't want steps to follow to look same as my upper line above line so I will be just selecting just uh, selecting all the words that I want to change now just go to steps to follow after that go to the top and select subheading so now you can see uh, as I have selected subheading this will go bold you can also make it bold by using the B button now if you want to change the size of the text just click on the text but size and you can select large largest and it will increase the size now to change the font of this just click on the F button besides the text button on the left side of the text button and you can change the font also by using that button now let's change the font so you can see that I have changed the font right now now I will be writing the steps in the in the next line let's go just click on enter and enter the steps so first first step is to go to blogger.com so I'll be entering www.blogger.com let's do it now you can see that I'm typing www.blogger.com now these links don't work like that like even if you post this on your website and you and you think that this link will work uh, like just like that if you want to click on it uh, like even if someone clicks on this link right now this link will not work I will show you how to make it work and let's see if it works or not just add the step 2 right now now the second step is create a name for the website now let's say I want to change the color of the word website so what you have to do is you have to select the word website just select and click on that button on the top and then change the color select any color you want and the color will change so you can see that the name the name website or the word website has changed its color for uh, from from black to red so just yeah, that's how you change the color of any word so now let's publish this and see how it looks like on the website so let's go to our website and refresh it 
so just refresh and you can see that the first post has appeared right now since there is no image in this post that's why there is no image in this post preview as well we will be adding image later on so you can see that even if you click on this www.blogger.com it will not work now to fix the link you have to go back to your web blogger.com and then click on edit the post now you have to select the www.blogger.com or the link then on the top of you have the option to select the link just click on that link button and now your 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 word will change to a link or your words will change to a link so you can see that the www.blogger.com has changed to a link a clickable link now there is another thing what you can do you can just you know if you want a word to act as a link yeah, now you, let's say if you want to say click here here and you want to change the word here to a link so let's see how we can do that so just select the word here after that again click on the link button let's click on link now it will say it will ask you where do you want the link to go or where do you want this word to take you when it is clicked so I will be entering hitrix.net which is my website let's do it uh, you can add any link you want I will be adding hitrix.net again so yeah, these two options are not required you can click on it or not click on it I will be explaining it in the later part of the video oh, I mean in the later videos of the series now let's say you want to change the first line into some other font or italic let's say italic directly italic so you just have to select all these words then click on the I button which is this button you just have to click on this uh, besides the bold button and it will be changed to italic you can also uh, click on the U button to make it underlined but we are not going to do that right now we are just going to change it to, change this into italic now before getting the preview of the website before checking the links we will be adding an image to the website so just click on that image button uh, from that status bar on the top just click on that image button after you can also select an image from link so if you have an uh, link of an image you can just click on get the image from the link and you have you can just put that url but we are going to select the image from my phone right now so just click on choose files and click on files and select any image you want i will be choosing the image of one of my setups that i did last night just click on it and just after uploading has been done just click on it and click on add selected now the image will be added in center now if you click on it you will get many options like if you want to move it in uh, on the left side if you want to move it on the right side if you want to change the size to small uh, large largest and something like that if you want to add the caption so let just uh, i'm just going to move it to the left side because it looks good right now maybe and i'm going also going to add a caption so let's do it so the caption will be some random image let's do that and click on the save button or to the publish button to publish it on the website now that's it so now that we have published it let's go to the website let's go to the home page of the website and see how the post looks like so you can see that we have we actually have the preview of the image right now behind the post now let's click on the post and see if the links actually work or not so this is how the preview of the website will look the first image will appear on the back of the post so now let's click on the blogger.com so you can see that it is working let's try the second link which is clicking on here takes it to my website Dinkar Chaudhary oh so I'm, I'm sorry it is hitrix.net so both of the links are working so you can actually create I actually created my hitrix.net website with my Android device and I will be actually telling you about all the themes that you can get about the new blogger themes and everything like that so uh, this is how the website looks right now it will be looking a little bit better at the end when we finish this series so you can see you can you will get these home page contact us pages and your instagram twitter and every every link like that on this website but and you will be doing it all of that on with with, uh, with your android device so let's uh, let's finish this video right now so guys thank you for watching the video i hope you like the video click the like and subscribe button if you found this video helpful and share for more videos like this and don't forget to click the bell icon to receive further updates about the upcoming videos on this channel